The older we get, the more we realize we're not going to be here forever. When you realize how fast time is going, it should bring a sense of urgency. Your time on this earth is not unlimited. If you're going to reach your highest potential, you can't be distracted by things that are keeping you from your purpose. Your time is too valuable to respond to every critic. Try to convince people that you really are okay. Those are distractions. Everyone's not going to accept you. Quit trying to convince someone to understand you that's determined to misunderstand you. You have to set your face. The people that need to be for you will be for you. But too often, we're trying to convince people to be our friend. And if someone doesn't see the gift that you are, value your friendship, do yourself a favor and move on. They are not a part of your destiny. Now don't waste another minute trying to convince someone to like you, to come see you. They are not for you, they are a distraction. You're not supposed to engage in every conflict. Most of the things that come against us are simply distractions. It takes discipline to say, I am not going to respond. I have a destiny to fulfill. My hour has come. Avoiding a fight is a mark of honor. It's easy to get in conflict, want to pay people back. That doesn't take any discipline. Not being drawn into conflict that takes your face being set. That person that cut you off in traffic, is it worth getting upset over when you're never going to see them again? The only way they can hinder you is if you get baited into conflict. Ignore it. Don't give it the time of day. I'm not saying to be passive and don't fight any battles. I'm saying to look at what the spoils are. Will it just feed your ego? or will it propel you into your destiny? We fight too many battles that don't matter. And sometimes, instead of celebrating you, people will get jealous. Try to pull you down. Don't take the bait. It's a distraction. Stay focused on your purpose. As far as you can, live at peace with everyone. Some people don't want to have peace with you. Well, Joel, shouldn't I go the extra mile? Shouldn't I be the bigger person? Yes, but if you do all that and they still don't want peace, you need to move on. At some point, you have to put your foot down and say, you may have a problem with me, but I don't have time to have a problem with you. Life is too short to try to have peace with people that don't want to have peace with you. My nature is to be a peacemaker. But some people have their own issues. They don't get along with themselves. How are they going to get along with you? No matter what you do, it's not going to be enough. If you keep trying to appease them, spending all your time and energy, all that's doing is letting them control you. We all have people in our life like David's brother. They don't like seeing you happy, going places. It's not about you, it's about the favor on your life. Don't take it personally, keep your face set. And some people that make the most withdrawals put in the least deposits. They expect you to always be there to help them, to meet their every demand. But when you need something, they're never around. If that friendship is one-sided, they're doing all the taking, you need to make a change. 